A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day as he usually did. He stood up to read and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free to proclaim the Lord's year of favor. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant, and sat down. And all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them. This text is being fulfilled today even as you listen and he won the approval of all, and they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, No doubt you will quote me saying, Physician, heal yourself, and tell me, We have heard all that happened in Capernaum, do the same here in your own countryside. And he went on, I tell you solemnly, prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel. I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged throughout the land, but Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these was secured except the Syrian Naaman. While they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town, and they took him up to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff. But he slipped through the crowd and walked away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear people of God, as we are reflecting on the manifesto of Jesus, we need to ask ourselves, do we have a manifesto for our spiritual life? Saint Clare of Assisi would say, our life our work here is brief, but the reward is eternal. St. Paul beautifully puts it, it is not the eloquence, it is not the enlightenment, it is not the power from human philosophy and ideology that brings people closer to Christ, but faith. Now, when does faith get killed when we get familiarized. Familiarity breeds contempt. Now, if you look at when we get to know people, we take them for granted. And this is exactly happening in the gospel. And people thought they knew Jesus. They thought they knew because he is coming from such and such family and he is of such and such quality. But in fact, he is not 
and the Isaiah's reading is only presenting himself to the community as he begins the ministry and that is what expected of all of us that today as we are here in the church we all have a responsibility because we have faith in him what is the responsibility we have been anointed with the power of the Holy Spirit during the sacrament of the baptism and confirmation and all the times that we want the Holy Spirit to be present in our lives he is around the truth is that what do we do are we able to see our specific mission each one of us interested with that specific mission and Jesus is clearly saying the Spirit of the Lord is upon me and he has anointed me for the welfare of the poor the mission is very clear and that is the mission of us all where are we are we so familiarized with our catechism our Bible that we are far from the reality let's check our minds our lives today as we reflect on this uh, uh, modus operandi of Jesus there's something we can take home and spend little time that we may be able to uh, look at our manifesto of our spiritual life are we in line with or out of line with the manifesto of Jesus may he enlighten us it is not what we know but it is the mystery that we are to know makes us to be faithful to Christ